Hi everyone, Agnes here and I've got a Neville Nugget for you and it's again from the book Feeling is the Secret by Neville Goddard. So he says, Sleep is the door into heaven. What you take in as a feeling, you bring out as a condition, action or object in space. I'm going to read that again. What you take in as a feeling, you bring out as a condition, action or object in space. So what does that mean in 2019 English? Well, what you take in as a feeling, meaning what you are feeling when you drop off to sleep, you bring out as in you get in your 3D life, in your own world, you get a exact copy. Okay, so I'm going to give you the example of if you go to bed anxious about money and you're freaking out, you're worried about how you're going to pay your bills, you're worried about your debts, then what happens is when you wake up in the morning, you then experience, might not be that exact morning at 9 a.m., but that day, that week, that month, your worry, your stress, your anxiety that you planted into your sleep time, into your dream time, is what you were intensely feeling about. It was what you were intensely thinking about. So you planted a seed. Then what happens is it gets watered in the night because it's your, what you planted the last thing before you went to sleep. So what happens is the universe then takes that as a cue from you that you want to experience more of the same, which is more lack of money. Okay, so very important what you plant before bedtime that you try and consciously plant seeds of things that you would love to experience. So I'm going to give you another example. If you go to bed feeling really unloved and unwanted by someone, you've planted those seeds in the night, you've gone into sleep with that horrible feeling, and then you will often get the result of someone not contacting you, that you're not important to them, that they don't want to see you or whatever version of that many of you are living it so you know what I'm talking about. So people have asked many times is can you imagine at other times during the day? Yes you can but as Neville Goddard has emphasized again and again and again imagining before bedtime because you've switched off your senses You've switched off your what you're listening to, you're talking, what you're looking at. You arrest the senses. You go within and you've got pinpointed focus and concentration on what you're doing on the inside. So it is undiluted. Why is that important? Because the more pinpointed it is, the more feeling you have about it the more you create a line of energy between you and the thing you desire and you push the seed into the dirt and then when you go to sleep it gets watered. Okay, so I think having practiced this and having seen results from this, it is one of the greatest ways to have accelerated manifesting and I know a lot of you ask about that. How can I speed this up? Well, you got to speed up your concentration. You got to speed up your discipline. You got to speed up your focus to speed up your manifesting time. Okay? So, a very good reading from Neville. And I think that, you know, in my own life, when I have applied this intense thought, of something wanted okay and then planted the seed of that prior to sleep okay I remember a particular 
event where I really wanted to manifest something unexpected. I didn't know what, but I was struggling with so many things that were taking my attention. I really wanted something totally out of the norm to really get me into a better state of being. So I went into sleep with the feeling of, isn't it wonderful what's happening to me now? Okay. So I practice that. Isn't it wonderful what's happening to me now? Isn't it wonderful what's happening to me now? Now at that time I was working in a job I didn't like and I was struggling to get myself there. So I had to get myself out of that ugh, feeling about that job and into the feeling of isn't it wonderful what's happening to me now? Now at that time I was really looking to break free of my current state of being around work and around money. So practicing this night after night, I remember this woman had contacted me out of the blue, apparently, and had said, I've been given your name by somebody and I know that you work in a candle shop and I have a situation where my partner has passed away and he's left me as in relationship partner has passed away has left me some money and I really want to start a candle shop would you come and help me and we ended up having one conversation over the phone and she didn't hadn't even met me and we ended up meeting that following week if I remember correctly it was a very short amount of time after and she took me to an, she flew me to another city to help her buy all the stock for her shop and I was like a consultant for her she paid for my hotel she paid for all my meals she paid for my trip and I got to basically buy all the stock for her brand new store which was basically putting in the money that her partner had left her and she was obviously still in grief about losing her loved one. So that isn't it wonderful what's happening to me now and at the time I was coming out of a breakup and I was still quite wounded so being distracted creatively was a wonderful wonderful thing for me. So that one thing of planting seeds before bed and I'm going to read this one more time because it's so wonderful. Sleep is the door into heaven and heaven I would say is the place where you can manifest the things you desire whether you believe in heaven or hell or whatever religion it doesn't matter heaven is the place where everything that you want would be. So what you take in as a feeling so what you take into sleep as a feeling you bring out of sleep the next day, the next week, the next month, the next six months, you bring it out as a condition. So in the case of my story, the condition was wonderful, creative, fun work that made me feel, isn't it wonderful what's happening to me now? Okay. It could be brought out as an action, meaning you get to do something you really want to do or as an object in space, which would be if you want to call someone an object in space, a person, a car, a trip, a house, whatever it is, fill in the blank. Okay. So, and he says at the very end of this on page 33, as in consciousness, so on earth. So what you are conscious of, what you are putting your focus on, what you think about, what you feel the most strongly about with, with emotion is what you live. Okay, so this is a fabulous little book. It's very short. It's literally not even 50 pages long. 49 pages from Neville. I mean, you can see it's super thin. So a great read for those of you that don't know Neville that well and would like to start on something simple. I recommend this one. Lots of love and I'll see you in the next YouTube.